when I was in Kelantan, I found a car rental company that I think is very useful. So when I'm in Kuching now, I also found that uh, they also have car in this uh, state. So I'm going to use this uh, car rental company called Wada. Very affordable price and then like they offer very good selection. And uh, it's very easy to make the booking. I got all the car with me. Uh, got no problem with this at all. Uh, and the driver will actually come to uh, give you the car at the airport or at the hotel. I think it's very something very useful. So I'm going to look for the driver and I'll show you how the procedure looks like. I got the car from this gentleman. Uh, this is a very small car that I have for today. I got the key with me now. So what I need to do, I need to do some inspection to check there's no damage. Uh, of course, that the gentleman will also take photo. And uh, here got a little bit scratch. Yang ni scratch, okay ka? Okay. okay. And then you see everything is okay. Then you can take the car. Then when you're going to return the car, give them a call and then they'll come and pick up the car. So I'm going to show you that how to uh, book the car as well. And uh, they have to check the petrol level. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, so it's a full full petrol. When you return, you have to return as a full petrol as well. In a Kuching, when you need to park the car, you need to get this parking coupon. It looks something like this. And then you have to scratch the correct timing for the usage. And I was very lucky that the gentleman, uh, the boss, they actually give a coupon for me. So I can uh, park my car here without making any payment first. So this will be my car for my Sarawak trip with my sister. In case you did not see any promo code, you can go on the bottom right side, check with the customer service, ask for any other latest uh, promo code. I got my promo code uh, on the discount. I find it quite useful. So when you log inside over here, you can see you can get a car with or without driver. And of course, that the subscription, I did not see that yet. I did not explore that much. But the lovely thing is like, um, if when you book this, you can see, you click on here, you can see a lot of location. So Wada company uh, is quite useful for me. So let's say for me, I'm, uh, I live in Singapore. I would like to go to JB and I can just select the pickup station right over here. So I am going to, let's say, demonstrate pickup in JB and the date maybe we do it like uh, any random day and then you just click like this for the price so i will say that you see that 147 ringgit uh, per day it is very affordable compared to many uh, international car rental company then you can uh, add on for this Oh wow, they have this ART test, <laughs> very impressive. I did not know they had such offer, but I did add on the this one, the reduction option for any, in case of any uh, accident, I will pay lesser. So it's, uh, I think it's paid up to 2,000 ringgit, if I'm not wrong, but you can check out uh, on the website when you make the booking. So you also can pay additional driver and then, uh, Singapore insurance. I think this is the, the insurance that for you to drive into Singapore. So, oh, this is very impressive that you, you if you want to rent the car and drive into Singapore, mm, it's much more cheaper than you rent in Singapore. Yeah, it's, it's just like you have to cross the border. It's like a little bit tiring. And the child seat, impressive. So, uh, let's say I add on this for one day and then in the total price you'll see all right over here and then um, there is a deposit there will be a uh, return to you by uh, paypal or whatever payment that you made so i did receive my deposit back so it is quite uh, trustable to have this so uh, which means the deposit 250 then the car rental is 140 plus so uh, yeah it just needs some of the extra amount of money for the deposit only then go to next then you check everything and i did have a account with them but if you are a new driver or new user you have to send a photo of your ic and a driving license to them that's it i, I think it is a very good way to uh, rent a car in malaysia
It has been five days I rented this car. Actually, on the second day, I did the exchange the car because that the car has got some problem. Uh, there's a lot of noise and then the they tinted the window very dark. I cannot see the side. So I changed, I called them. They changed the better car for me immediately on the second day. So now I'm going to check that uh, everything is good. There's no any other damage. Then I'll have to wait for the staff to uh, pick up the car. My car return is at uh, 11 p.m. And then I call them to come and collect the car early. The guy just pick up the car and that's it. Very easy to uh, for a return. Just same like what I did in Kelantan, Kota Baru. I just leave the car inside the car, but the key inside the car and then take photo. That's it. Yep. So I hope you like the option of the car renter in Kota Baru and Kuching. Bye-bye.